But here's the truth. The companies want your money. They don't care who you are. Recently, Elon Musk said on Twitter that a bunch of advertisers pulled out because of activists demanding that they do so. This is typical. We've seen this countless times. Somebody escalates some kind of complaint that's usually trumped up, hyped up, bogus, insane compared to the actual truth. And then they bring it to an advertiser or cluster of advertisers in large quantities on social media. The advertiser sees them screeching, thinks that there is a big problem and, oh, we need to go into a panic and shut down now. Shut her down. Shut her down. Come on, flip the switch. We don't want to be part of this antisocial trend that's going on. Pull it quick so that people don't stop buying our products. Hurry up. We don't, we don't want to be part of the hate because the hate means no one will buy our stuff. No! But it's all a farce. The premise behind all of this advertiser pulling is... Advertisers don't want their products advertised next to evil, Nazi, white supremacist, blah, blah, blah rhetoric. This is not the case. Advertisers are businesses. Elon, are you listening? Are you listening, buddy? Advertisers are businesses that are in the business of making money. Making money is the number one goal. The reason that advertisers pull out, temporarily, is that they think they won't make money for a longer period of time if they don't run and hide for a little while until it blows over, then quietly put their advertising right back up. What needs to happen is people need to realize everything, always, is advertiser friendly. Why is everything advertiser friendly? Because ads are not targeted at that evil, bigoted, right-wing, Nazi, har 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 rhetoric. They're targeted at the person that is looking at your service. Twitter, Google, Facebook, Reddit, take your pick. The ads are not targeted at the content. They're targeted at the person who is reading the content. And the eternal question is, is a bigot's dollar worth less? The answer is no. Advertisers do not care who gives them money. Advertisers want the Ku Klux Klan to continue buying their Unilever razors. Advertisers want all of the right-wing hate groups, as well as the left-wing hate groups that are called other things, you know, NAACP, ADL, unfortunately, the ACLU in recent years. They want all of those people's money. Everyone. Not just one side or the other. They want all of the money. The problem is that they hide whenever there's the slightest hint of a few very loudmouth but stupid people on social media that go out of their way to try and make a problem seem a lot bigger than it is, or really, honestly, to make a problem. It's not even a matter of it being a problem. They craft the problem, drag this gigantic facade of a problem in front of a bunch of large corporations, tell them that they're supporting horrible, horrible things. People will literally die, you guys. And then the corporations fold because they're overwhelmed. What would you do if you woke up one day and had a thousand emails in your inbox all saying mean things to you because you said something someone didn't like? Chances are very good that despite your better judgment, you'd panic. That's what these companies are doing. But here's the truth. The companies want your money. They don't care who you are. They don't care how evil, racist, mean, dumb, whatever you are. All things are advertiser friendly because all advertisers want all people's money. That's it. There is nothing more to this. Oh, by the way, advertisers, you know those people that keep bringing you these fake problems, these trumped up problems, these manufactured urgent things that somehow go away in the span of a week or two? Those people are lunatics. They do not buy your products. They do not spend money with you. They are not your customers. Why are you listening to these people? They do not have money. And if they do have money, they sure as hell aren't giving it to you. Regardless of whether you have the ads up or not, they aren't the people that you're trying to reach. Even if they have money, they keep it. 
They're stingy with it. They only spend that money on dumb shit, like um, art supplies for their poetry chapbooks or something. They definitely aren't buying your products. And this fits with most companies out there. Oh, sure, they might buy some products like toilet paper, because, you know, no matter what you do, no matter what you've got down there, you've still got to wipe the gaping wound that is your butt hurt self. So you need toilet paper, but they're not buying your toilet paper because of your ads. But they'll go out of their way to say that they do long enough to make you not give money to people they don't like. People that probably would give you a lot more money if you would stop kowtowing to these psychopaths. All things are advertiser friendly. Let Elon Musk know as he takes over Twitter. Let Facebook know. Let YouTube know. Everything's advertiser friendly all of the time. And this notion that advertisers should pull out because content isn't up to someone's moral code out there is completely bogus. Stop giving in. Stop allowing these people to run roughshod over everything else in society. And guess what? As soon as a few advertisers say, no, we will not give in to your silly demands. We want money. Money is nice. More of them will follow, and the problem solves itself. Thanks for watching. Bye.